Hi children, good morning. How are you children? I hope all are fine. Thank you children. I am also fine. Children, today we are ready to learn lesson name is Forest Tribes which is in 5th class EVS. Children, do you know what is forest? A large area covered chiefly with trees and undergrowth is called forest children now we need to know about the what is the meant by tribals or tribal people people who live in highly regions of the forest known as tribes or tribal people children let us go to topic every forest is a beautiful place on this earth it is the habitat for different animals and plants. To know more about the forest, let us talk to the people living in the forest. Children, observe the picture on the screen and discuss. Children, how beautiful the photo is. In the above photo, Goals remembers are there in the left corner. In the background, some people dancing photo are the tribals residing at Adilabad district. Their dance is called Gusadi. It is a special dance from the Adilabad tribes. Different kind of tribes live in this forest. The tribes perform their traditional dance wearing traditional costumes. The Gonds are the tribes who lives in highly region. They construct small huts and live in groups in the forest. They construct wall with the stones and cover with the surface with thick and smooth mud. They place bamboo sticks and forest grass on the roof. Though so it is a hut, separate rooms are provided for cooking, puja and for the ladies. The women draw and paint beautiful pictures on the wall and the floor with the colors prepared from different plants. They decorate the puja room with special interest. They consider their house as most Second, hence they consider enter the house with food as sin. They honor the guest with fruits and tobacco cigar available in the forest. The gones collect the fruits, honey, tamarind and etc. etc. from the forest and live on them. Some goats are engaged in agriculture. After the harvesting, they celebrate a special festival and offer their first crop to their village deity, Akpen, and only then use it. Children, now it is time to know about the Nagoba Fair. Nagoba Fair is very important fair to goats. Nagoba temple is located at Keshapuram village of Indraveli Mandal in Adilabad district. A few day fair is held every year and gonds from other states also participate in this. The important thing of Nagoba fair is the gonds traditional dance. They get decorated with peacock feathers to perform the special dance called Gusadi. A large number of people other than Gons also come to watch the dance. Children now need to know about another interesting topic lifestyle of the Chenchus. The Chenchu people live in Nalamala forest of Telangana state. They are mainly founded in Nagar Karnul district. They speak Chenchu language which is similar to Telugu language. 
Chenchu's food is quite different from our food. They depend mainly on forest for their food. That is why they worship the forest as Adavitalli. They collect different fruits like custard apple, mango, jamun, etc. etc. Different roots and tamarind from forest and take them as food. Chenchus are experts in collecting honey. They hunt the forest pigs, deer, etc. etc. which is help of small arrows and knives and shot the meat with all. But they never hunt small animals and birds like rabbits and sparrows. The collected from food items from the forest are sold at the weekly fair and the required grain like jowar, ragi etc etc are purchased. They prefer sankati with jowar and ragi. Some people especially pregnant women eat tamarind along with the ash of the tamarind seeds as food. It is their belief that this gives more strength. Chenchus are not interested in money, saving and other things. They depend on the forest every day for their life. Chenchus and their relatives live together at the place by constructing huts. These are called pentas. Some pentas together as known as villages. Each village has a head. He is called headman or peddamanshi. He looks after the village and he ensures that the all follow the customs and traditionals. All the people respect and follow the directions given by the headman or Pedamanishi. All programs of the village are conducted under the guidance of headman. The main deities are Lord Lingaya and Goddess Chenchu Lakshmi. They perform pujas in the month of Mega and children, olders and all the people participate actively in these pujas. Children, now we have to know about another tribe's lifestyle. These are Bonda tribes. Children, do you know in our country the population of Bonda tribes is only 12,000. Bonda tribes live in the dense forest and hill of the Araku Valley in Vishakapatnam. They also live in the dense forest of Malkongiri in Odisha. They are also known as Bondo and Puroju. The language spoken by them is also unique. It is called Remo in Odisha. They did not like to mingle with the people of towns. That is why they rarely come out of the forest. The Bonda tribes which lives unconnected with the outer world and quit unaware of money. They attend the weekly fair Hatha. They do not allow newcomers to enter their villages. If anybody enters, they try to kill them with poisonous arrows. They depend on hunting for their food. Only men go for hunting and women participate in agriculture. They select some place in the forest, cut the trees and clear the land to make it convenient for cultivation. After growing, Two or three crabs 
there they leave it and go for another land the bonda women attending the weekly fair and exchange of forest products collected by them with others and take the required material from them in exchange this system is called binimeri proda or bachar system their way of dressing is also unique this covered their bodies with cloth made from the jute bone down men have great skills in making their cloth first they soak the jute plants in the water of streams and lakes nearby for 2 to 3 days then they weed out thread from the and dry them for 3 days under the sun they collect different colors from the forest and mix these with the thread and made the class as an hand loom they stitch thin and beautiful mirrors on these class children this is about tribe people lifestyles forests are useful to us in many ways many plants animals tribes depend on them forests are natural habitats for the thousands of plants and animals species trees in the forest releases oxygen forest improves rainfalls earlier the whole world was full of green plants forest as decreasing day by day due to the outing down of trees for use in villages towns dams industries roads railways firewoods furniture and for many other needs of mankind biodiversity is being destroyed due to the indiscriminate destruction of forest for our needs pollution is increasing due to global warming the rains have reduced resulting in droughts there are forests in the districts of adilabad nirmal khomram bim manchiryal peddapelli jayshankar mahabubnagar badradri and nagarkarnul of telangana earlier the forests were dense and wide but now their area is decreasing different types of tribes live in the forest of our state the tribes gons kolami pradhan and toti live in adilabad nirmal khomram bim and manchiryal districts the koya tribes and kondaredlu lives in badradri district of telangana the banjara tribes lives in mahabubabad and in other districts many changes have occurred in the lifestyle of the tribes when compared to the past tribes are progressively developing with the education the tribal villages are in dense forest and transport facilities have not yet fully developed when compared to people of other regions of the tribes have yet to develop children this is about our lesson forest and tribes in next class we discuss bits in this chapter thank you children